Um, it is very late actually, so the lemonade Sour Patch Kids are superior. They're better than the regular ones. Still like the strawberries, um, I think the best, but those are very, I would say they're like equal. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about a painting that I'm about to start. I don't know if I'm going to start it today because it's pretty late, but I had this idea a while ago and I did the little sketch outline of it. Here's like a sneak peek. Certain scene, it's basically the scene from Spirited Away and I wanted to make it like Alice in Wonderlandify. So hopefully that goes well. I've been procrastinating starting it because I just don't know how it's gonna be. So I did my makeup. It was inspired by this Irene picture I saw. I didn't do lips, but I forgot that I outlined my lips in brown, so I will do lips later. I made a lot of progress on the painting and I will show it. So I did just some basic outlines. Um, yeah, it's not looking great, but I need to start somewhere. It always looks like really rough in the beginning and then I change stuff and stuff. But yeah, this is basically how I'm doing it. So I'm like replacing, um, I'm doing the original scene, but it's like replacing stuff from the movie or from Alice. I have like so many blank canvases and like, I really wanna do something for my walls because they're just so barren. So I wanted to do something involving like red velvet because I just love their aesthetic so much. Like every concept, I was thinking like a uh, horizontal painting with like books and I'll choose a few of my favorite concepts and make the, what was it called, the spine of the book like their title track and like kind of design it to be like the album sounds like I want it to be I wanted it to be simple but it's like super complex I love making everything complicated I actually hate that but sometimes it turns out better than I expected <laughs> I put all the rice on the top so it looks all like full but tenjang jjigae and vanilla tea also I got this hair clip my mom got it for me yesterday and I immediately thought I want to bedazzle it so I'm going to do that later hopefully. There's these little tiny mushrooms. This is the finished hair clip. <laughs> also this is so spice. I have a little unboxing. Yeah. So this is the mango lineage and the strawberry lemonade or pink lemonade. I just wanted to get these before they stopped selling them because they are limited edition. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, the swirl. It smells exactly how you think it would. Like strawberry lemonade it smells so realistic it's crazy and of course it has the little thing i think i'm gonna give that one to my mom and this one is for me oh my gosh it smells like summer it's like it's kind of pineapple-y like kind of pina colada Guys, it just started raining. <laughs> I can hear it. I'm so tired. Okay guys, I am almost done with this painting and I started this. I literally used my hands because it's like more smooth that way and it's like more fun. This one's just for like my room. 
but I'm gonna like bedazzle it and stuff. So, yes. I'm just letting it dry. Oh my gosh, it's like dry and it's so cold and soft. <laughs> Cause like using your hand is so different than using a brush. It just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so weird. Okay, this is the heart, but oh yeah, I don't know if I said I was gonna do like an aura heart and then bedazzle like rings, but I don't like this heart. So I think I'm just gonna see how many rhinestones I can fit so that it'll hide the design. <laughs> Cause I don't know how to like blend it around the edges, so scrap that idea. First ring of glue, done with the heart, the heart ring, so this is not my best work, but I needed something to put on my walls because it's just so bare. I changed my little CIX setup, so I put them all in a circle, and I think that looks a lot better, and I kind of like divided it by concept. So yeah, I don't know. It's not my favorite, but I feel like once I grow the collection, like it'll get better over time, so. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use it like this. Okay, it's been a few days since I vlogged. I like woke up so early and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm running on like four hours. I'm just eating like hummus with these crackers from Sprouts because I was craving them. I mean, I wasn't really craving anything. I just wanted to like eat something, something savory. So weird to eat first thing in the morning. I'm just like doing my makeup. I just haven't put on makeup or done anything like getting ready in so long. So this is so weird to me. It's so foreign to me. My friend sent me a bunch of makeup. So I was going to try those colors because I got like, it's like a bunch of fall-ish colors. And it's so gorgeous but i don't really know what i'm gonna do yet so i'm just kind of like sitting in the moment i think i'm gonna use mainly this Ooh, ow this hibiscus color look it's so cute anyway okay i flipped my ring light so that it's like right in my face um, I'm gonna do my brows. This is so weird. I haven't done makeup in like over two weeks, I think. I don't know which color to use. I think I'm gonna do the purple, like I said, on the just like smoky. Oh, maybe I'll use this taupe. Oh, wait, I was gonna contour. Okay, so I did some eyeshadow and I really love them. I am putting like this gold in the inner right there. Anyway, I'm gonna do eyeliner now. Okay, so I put this brulee shade as blush. Um, it's very light but if you put blush in the center of your cheeks, it makes your face look smaller, so. And this is the Romand Bare Apricot Apricot. It's so gorgeous. It's so funny because I was like just thinking that I wanted to get more of the Romand shades. 
because I just, I, before I bought the first one, I like did a lot of research because I'm more picky about lips. So yeah, I love it. And I saw a lot of cute colors, so. Okay, if you hear fizzing, I just put an emergency packet into my water, so. I'm gonna do this blush, actually, because I forgot that I had this. Oh, Nice. This is the finished look. I need to put a cute fit on. So, yeah. Also, this is the hair clip. Okay, a little taste test. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Mini. Oat milk has been poured. It tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's a little less um, sugary and like flavorful, but I think that's because they're so mini, it doesn't stick. So, yeah, if you like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's like too sweet for you or something, get this. Also, it's just so cute. Also, I made a bunch of these pumpkin chocolate chip vegan cookies, and I can try to put the recipe, link it in the description or something, because I love it. But I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. Um, it wasn't very eventful, but I hope you enjoyed if you made it to the end, and... Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.